Well, hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your April reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm still running a competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I will uh, remind you how to enter that competition right at the end of this reading. As some people are here just for the messages and some people are here for both. This reading is for April 2021. Let's get straight to it, my beautiful Leo. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know regarding their April energy? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for all the messages so far. What do they need to know for their highest good? Um, just to let you know, the new moon is in Aries on the 12th of April. That is a time for cultivating your vision. It is one of the most critical new moons of the year. So set your intention. Maybe write it down what it is you'd like to achieve for the rest of the year. Maybe do a little ritual. Write it down, burn it, offer it up to spirit, and uh, watch your manifestations uh, show up on the physical plane. Thank you so much, spirit guys, great angels. We have the judgment card. Yeah, what is it you want, Leo? What, this is the protagonist energy. So you may be asking some bigger questions in life. You may be looking at how far you've come in life, what you're doing right now, and where you want to go, who you want to be. Okay, now you lead with authenticity and your wonderful heart. So I feel like these questions are kind of just you at a bit of a crossroads, wondering, do you still want to do what you're doing? Do you feel like, whoa, do you feel like you're honoring your soul, um, your soul mission here? You got the death card there as well. Um, or is there something that you feel like is holding you back from from really realizing your goals or your dreams or almost like, is there something holding you back from being the powerful you? Okay, uh, you may be looking at those things. Ooh, we have the world card. We have the emperor and the wheel of fortune showing up for you in the antagonist position. Now I'm doing things a little bit differently for you. Uh, I was going to do a Celtic cross for you, Leo, but actually um, Spirit has guided me to do something else for you. So, uh, you know, let's see how it goes. Uh, they want something different. So we have the death card here. It is in your antagonist position. Now this is basically the challenge for the month for you. Um, shutting something down, releasing something that's holding you back here. Now you may have felt like you were denying yourself something. You may be even denying your inner power feeling like you can't do something, okay? Fearing change. Um, or even looking at um, certain areas within your life, Leo, where you feel like you um, need to believe in yourself more. It's not that you're weak, absolutely you're not. Uh, but you may be looking at some areas that you feel like you need to improve on or you need to build upon um, in order to move forward, whether that's gain a little bit more knowledge or whether that's to sort of uh, just believe in yourself. Leo, because sometimes those little doubts, they creep on in. Um, I mean, we're all human. They all creep in for all of us. But there's an energy here of, you know, um, I feel like you would never do something that you feel um, you would fail at. Okay. Um, now, that's not a, how can I put that? That's not a, that's not a negative because you're aware of your limitations, you're aware of what you're capable of, but spirit is actually indicating here that you can do so much more, Leo, okay? Um, it's not that you're not realizing your potential, but I feel like you are about to, and it's a little bit scary, okay? Uh, now, there is an energy here, Leo, of a uh, fear of change. I just wanna just put that out there, because you are gonna be more successful beyond your wildest dreams. Now, Obviously, success looks very different for some people than others. Success may be just getting a job if you've been out of work for a, a, a long time or, or a while. Uh, success may be, you know, just being able to save for kids to go to college. You know, whatever success means for you in this moment, I feel like there is a... There is an opportunity here that allows you to plan for the future. There's a lucky break coming on in here, but I feel like um, there's an energy here of you... Being a little bit nervous that you have the power to rise up and be more successful than you imagine. Now, um, not everybody's got a fear of success, okay, Leo? That is a very unique kind of fear there. But um, I feel like it's keeping you a little bit stagnant. Um, and I, by fear of success, you may go, how am I fearing success? Well, if you're being very sort of... Um, uh, 
exhibiting perfectionism in a certain area. Yes, it's wonderful to keep, you know, all eyes on the details, cross your T's, dot your I's, all of those things. Uh, but when you're being so uh, perfect or things are not right, you can't sort of give off a project to somebody unless it's absolutely right. You're actually, there's an element here of stalling. Okay, now again, don't shoot the messenger. This is what I, I'm getting. So they're just, they're just asking you, what are you afraid of? Because when, once you identify that, then uh, that resistance or uh, that stagnancy, that's when the change happens. That's when the ending brings a new beginning. Okay, so there's something here that uh, maybe a person, maybe you, you are trying to manifest new love into your life. And, uh, you know, you have to let go of an old relationship or an old friendship that you feel um, crosses a line. And uh, it, it just is, is, is hindering you in some way from re achieving your soul mission, your soul purpose. OK, so this is the challenge for this month um, to, to, to sort of really cull that. Even, it could even be negative people. Leo, that sort of um, when you go to them and say, wow, I'm going to do this now, it's going to be really exciting. They're like, great, that sounds awesome. And you're like, what is that? That's all you got for me. Uh, it's just the tone that some people take. They knock your confidence. They chip away at you there. Uh, there's an energy that they could be like not doing it on purpose, but they see you rise and then they kind of like start thinking about themselves like, oh, I wish it was me. So then that kind of transcends into the way they talk. There's something about here of um, fearing change. OK, so uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Let's um, go deeper uh, into the cards. We got this is a solution card. OK, this is a solution position. This is uh, the outcome. So you're weighing up some options here. You, you, you know which way you need to go, which way you don't. But you may be just uh, wondering as well, because the judgment card is often a, a card of second chances. So you, you may be even having this self-evaluation period where you think, could you have a second chance in a certain area with love or with a career? Um, you know, it's almost like something is coming like a boomerang right round again for you to really question it and see if it's for you. Um, but sometimes we do things like 10 years ago and, you know, 20 years has passed and we're like, we, we decide to do something 20 years ago, for example, say we want to be a surgeon uh, and then all of a sudden we're like, you know what, this doesn't, I don't have passion for that anymore. It's okay to have, not have passion for something anymore and let it go and find passion in a new area. There's no, there's no um, failure here, okay? It's about honoring what you are and who you are in this moment. Now the world indicates you are closing down the cycle. You are going to be letting go of anything that is hindering you. OK, I feel like if you've got any unfinished business or unfinished projects, you're going to be tying them up. You're releasing them to think uh, about something new, something forward for the future. The, the world card indicates you've come full circle. You've come as far as you can within a certain situation and it's time to just let it go. OK, you just got to let it go, let it flow. Uh, there's victory here in the future, as you can see the victory wreath here, but it requires you to be all in balance. Fire, water, earth, and air are all on the table there. And they're indicating that this is a time for harmony, uh, having great um, communication skills, being grounded in a dream or a goal, uh, having love for what you do and having the passion, ambition, and drive. And Leo, you got passion in spades, right? So I feel very much like you're shutting something down that's holding you back. So anything, it's like you're cutting those ties now and you're like, you're forward moving, okay? And you're, you're signaling to the spirit that you're ready to think about the future. The Emperor card indicates uh, planning, strategy, um, but also success, power. You're taking back your power. You're basically, you were a born leader, Leo. So in terms of your career path, you may have some options to weigh up, but you're a born leader. People look to you for advice. They look to you for what you're doing. They may not even say it because some people, you know, they got pride themselves. They don't want to say, hey, Leo, we love you. And um, we really uh, admire what you do. And secretly, we're kind of just following your lead. Nobody wants to say that. But behind the scenes, I feel like there's a lot of respect for you here. And um, I feel like you protect your soul tribe, you're, you provide love and care for them. Um, I mean, you can roar and be ruthless when you need to be, of course, but I feel like you're here for the greater good. And I feel like there's been a time where you felt like your power was diminished. There was something you were avoiding. There was a chaotic time in your life, but I feel like you're coming back into power now. And I feel very much you're going to be very successful with whatever plan it is, wherever you're putting your energy um, for the future. I feel like you're owning it. OK, now you may be getting some advice to either become an entrepreneur, set up your own business. Um, I feel like you're being your own boss. Leo, I feel like uh, either you're stepping into a, a position uh, of responsibility within your workspace, 
either a raise, new promotion, something like that, where you have uh, an opportunity to thrive and rise. Um, I feel like it's going to be very, very successful for you. It may be a surprise. There may be an opening all of a sudden at your workspace. It's like, hey, there's a managerial position or a CEO position or something um, going, and you're like, I'm right for that position. It just comes all at once, okay? Um, now we have uh, the uh, Wheel of Fortune here. The Wheel of Fortune indicates that luck is on your side, but there's definitely a turn of events here. Good fortune, good karma after a period of resistance or a period of misfortune. Perhaps you feel like you had a bit of bad uh, run of luck there, um, but something was holding you back and you were, there's something about resisting change, okay, Leo? So just, it's almost like f go with the flow because there's a lot of good things coming your way. Um, you've worked really hard for this, but you're recognizing here that there's still, still a little bit more to go and Lady Luck is intervening. I feel like uh, you're going to see a lot of synchronicity in your world. There's definitely a lucky break on its way for you. Um, something you've worked really hard for though, um, but I feel like if it's a, a gamble or you have to come out of your comfort zone for whatever reason, Leo, I feel like you're going to rise up, meet the opportunity and be very successful, okay? Uh, the gamble will pay off. Um, now let's go to uh, the details. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. What is coming for my beautiful Leo in April 2021? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Uh, they're just showing me some, it's either strawberry or raspberry jam. So either you're currently eating that. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Um, either you're eating that um, right now. Um, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to speak to everybody, um, so please don't try to make it fit if it uh, doesn't resonate with you. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. Their attention may have wandered. Um, also, if I'm spiritually understanding it, it could be like something really sweet, jammy is coming your way, okay? I feel like this is something, though, that you did yourself, okay? And you're, get, you're being given an extra bit of luck to lift you on your way. Uh, now, what is... Uh, here it is. Judgment. Okay, we got the Eight of Fire clarifying that. There is some news coming on here that really changes everything. Okay, Leo. So, wow. Wow, 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 wow. How would you like to receive? Okay, the rest in the other position. Oh, how would you like to receive? Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, they're just giving me the, the rest in the other position. Right. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Okay, so we have the Eight of Fire. Eight of Fire is about news, it's about change, it's about speed, it's about action, okay? So if you felt like you were procra not procrastinating, but you feel like you were being held back in any way, or you were waiting for some sort of results or something, and you couldn't take action until you had to shut something down or finish it, there's definitely change happening here. Um, hold on to your hat, Leo, because it's gonna be quite quick. Uh, there's definitely an energy here of success, because whenever you get an Eight of Wands, even if you look it up, uh, you know, it is a successful energy. Eight of Fire also indicates that you're very unique, Leo, okay? You stand out from the crowd. You shine naturally. That's just your superpower. You can't help it. That's just, you were born to do it. You were born to lead. You were born to stand out. Some people, you know, sometimes people try to get in your way. Sometimes there is, uh, you know, there, there may be someone who is trying to uh, block you in some way uh, or someone who just didn't, it's not that they did it on purpose. I feel like they have a fear as well because they fear, I feel this person fears that they're going to be left behind by you, okay? Uh, and if they just became a, a, a comrade, they're giving me the word comrade, wow. Uh, it's like if they were in solidarity with you, uh, then you would take them along for the ride because you love people, you love your soul tribe, you would never leave anyone out that you feel truly loves you and has your back, but this person feels like they're going to get left behind, okay? But there's definitely a lot of success coming here for you, and I feel like you're just famming fanning the flames of uh, your passion and your desire and your, uh, for whatever it is that you do here. Um, you Get ready to go faster. There is definitely gaining momentum happening in this situation, but it's in line with your soul path. So whatever it is you decide that you really want to do, the spirit, the universe brings it on in quite quickly. This is a month for change and action. Um, it is going to be quite quick. Don't let anyone really push you into anything because we do have a nine of fire here. So have a bit of caution about you because things are going to be so quick that you're like, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Now, in the resistance position, okay, is the king of um, earth. Now, I'm not reading the, the, the reversal of this, uh, but it's just a little warning that there's someone here that is a little bit jealous within your field. Leo, someone who, uh, you know, does not 
Um, they don't put as much work into um, what it is that they do um, that, than you do. Uh, I feel like in comparison, they don't really follow through. They're a bit of a talker. Okay, they may have mean well, uh, they want to be sort of practical and wise about it, but they just their energy is just not that they just they don't have the stamina that you have to really invest in the same way. Now, this person could be on the same level as you in the same department as you could be on a boss uh, type level as well. Uh, they feel like uh, you're a threat to their position. I can see why because we've got a king of fire happening over here. So you are a threat to this person's position. Uh, you may not want to be but you just can't help it. You know, you're rising up, you're smashing through glass ceilings here. Um, I feel like this person though is someone that you really trust. Someone that, who may have given you advice in the past. But this advice, you may have found out it actually it's almost like it destroys your hope. It's almost like, Leo, you go to this person. This person may have a tourist placement, by the way. You go to this person, you say, oh my gosh, I've got this really great idea to do this thing. And they're like, yeah, this sounds great, but think about this. And you're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you're saying I shouldn't do this? And they're like, well, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but maybe you should think about not doing it. And they're leaving you with a question mark. It's almost like they, they manage to just take away your sparkle every so often. Now, this could be someone in your soul tribe, someone that you do care about. Um, it could be a, a masculine type figure in your life um, who just, they want the best for you, but as long as it is in accordance with their rules. So it could be a father type figure, okay? And I don't feel like you're, you're a people pleaser, Leo. Um, but I feel like you're gonna prove this person wrong, okay? They're gonna watch you rise. I feel like you're also sort of cutting down this person's involvement in your life or uh, their comments, whatever that is for you. Uh, but there's a lot of money coming your way, Leo, a lot of money. I feel like you're being a boss. Either you're setting up as an entrepreneur and there's gonna be a lot of financial security coming your way. You're very enterprising and I feel like you have the ability to attract abundance and wealth wherever you invest your passion and your time. Uh, trust and have faith that the universe is bringing you what you truly deserve, okay? Because I feel very much like uh, there's so much financial um, changes happening in your world, but it's where you invest your passion, okay? Um, now, we got a nine of fire here. This is about caution, okay? Be careful. Now, this could be being careful about this person because I, I had a very strong indication that I personally wanted to put the card with this person. Uh, but Spirit indicated no, they wanted it in the outcome position, okay? So the outcome is you will be quite cautious about this situation. Um, I feel like uh, don't rush into anything. If this person is a boss or anything, um, if there's some sort of news that requires you to take action, it will be, the changes will be quite quick, but don't let anyone force you or push you into a corner to sign on the dotted line or do something that you don't want to do. Really think about it first, okay? Uh, they're just acting, it's almost... They're saying, you know, maintain your boundaries, keep persisting at what you're doing, but don't let anyone uh, push you into a corner, okay? Now, it's really interesting here because we have a queen of air and we got a king of fire. That's a very hot combination, okay? Um, there's passion, there's also communication. Now, I'm gonna read this uh, in three ways because they're giving me three energies right now. Um, I will be doing a bit more on love in a moment, but I'm feeling career right now. Um, Great negotiation skills, Leo. Very self-sufficient. Even though you're a fire element, this is a Libran energy right now, air element. Uh, self-sufficient, leading with total honesty. If someone has tried to hold you back in your workspace, you'll find out about it. The truth will come out. Now, you don't mess with the queen of air, okay? Again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. The queen of air, she'll listen to everybody, but she's got a sort of BS and a knowledge about her that is second to none. She can see through anybody like laser focus, okay? I feel like you're gaining a lot of clarity in the situation. The truth will prevail, but there's always strategy. I feel like there's a game here, okay? And I feel like you're gonna win the game of life, but you must maintain an energy of what it is that you want, Leo, okay? So caution is obviously um, necessary for the situation because someone is... I don't feel like this person's trying to derail you, but I feel like they like to knock your confidence. They enjoy it when you come to them and have expressed an energy of not meeting your expect your own expectations. I feel like they revel in people's misery. 
misery likes company right so I feel like this person's always around for that sort of energy okay so just be mindful of that person um, but I feel like uh, you see through this person clearly also I feel like you got really healthy strong foundations and boundaries strong self-esteem and I feel like you're making really shrewd decisions for your career you're negotiating new opportunities for yourself um, verbally you're quite a wordsmith okay so if there is a new opportunity in business to come your way I feel like you are um, going to take that opportunity and rise okay we also have the king of fire now this is an Aries energy it connects with that full moon sorry the new moon in Aries on the 12th of April manifestation now either you're set you're stepping into an, uh, a leadership role uh, or a position with new responsibilities um, and you're setting an example people are looking to you for uh, inspiration you got it in spades as I said people look to you because you have an inner light that shines out you lead with your heart you lead with your passion you lead with determination and you can endure any situation okay Leo so I feel like you're definitely uh, owning it there's a lot of wisdom about you uh, but also you have this deep knowledge about the heart you know that the heart will never lead you astray and you're not afraid to put your heart on your sleeve okay that's what people find intimidating about you sometimes Leo that you bound in there with this energy of you know what you're doing and a lot of humans they're they're not like that they're not like you now deep down you may have some reservations you may have some doubts of course but you would never show that to people that you're trying to impress or make your way within your industry uh, all they see is that you got this and you have this you know what you're doing Leo so you're stepping uh, I feel like you're leveling up moving into another either department or uh, you're getting some sort of news on some sort of new position that puts you in a higher uh, a higher standing I feel like it's a higher standing in life okay so they're just giving me something one moment please hmm. they're just giving me a slight energy here of um, be mindful of someone who's trying to bully you or trying yeah trying to push you into something really quick you know if you're not ready to do that yet you're not ready it's okay to say halt just just pause yeah I know that the actions will be quite quick when you make your decision but this news is coming on in to change everything you don't you don't need to be frazzled by it okay Leo uh, just so you're aware um, also they're giving me the name Kennedy now obviously that's a hugely famous name uh, so please take it as it resonates I mean your surname may be Kennedy your first name may be Kennedy uh, you could live on uh, I mean a lot of people could live on a Kennedy Avenue or something like that I mean there's a lot of names that a lot of places that could be called Kennedy out there I'm really aware of that but I feel like it's something relevant to now uh, so please take it as it resonates if that if if it connects to you in some way it means there's something in this uh, message for you I mean you may live on Kennedy Drive you may be reading an article right now on Kennedy you know please take it as it resonates um, but we definitely got here an influencer you're an influencer you're rising up I feel like for a lot of success a lot of abundance okay I mean there's so much more money coming for you in this new position of power um, it's an alternative form of abundance we got a five of earth there okay a five of earth indicates you will be making um, you know uh, extra money somewhere else so either you are in a position at work at the moment um, <clears throat> and you're doing a job that you know you're just doing day to day to get paying the bills etc etc you may be trying to start or action a new business on the side for yourself that you are the boss of or you're you know you're the founder of uh, an entrepreneur I feel like you're gonna be so good at what you do you're gonna be so successful and you're gonna negotiate the uh, setting up process really well I feel like people are gonna take you seriously and there's a lot of wealth coming uh, in a different way it's like a different form I'm not sure what they mean by that but there um, it's almost like the way is suddenly illuminated and I feel like there's hope that more blessings are coming your way I feel like this is it gives rise to true abundance whatever this is okay um, a very very successful energy here um, now the, there's a couple of energies here I'm just gonna clarify them um, thank you so much spirit guides going angels because I feel there's this How can I put that I feel like there is someone who is um, really passionate about you Leo in terms of you know chemistry this person has feelings for you um, and I feel like 
this person, um, you will be talking to this person very, very soon, but it's something that you're very cautious about. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry, I, I look at the bowl uh, of water when I'm uh, channeling, so I've just looked down at the cards, uh, and that clarifies that energy that's coming through right away. There's someone here who's a lot of passion for you, um, as in chemistry, okay? But they may have withdrawn their cup of love from you. Uh, they may have had unrealistic expectations and been very immature, okay? This person did not plan for the future. Uh, you may be separated from this person. You do not trust this person. You're very cautious about this person, okay? This person may be a game player. Okay, uh, this is in terms of love. Uh, I mean, it could be in terms of business because there's a similar energy here about a game player or someone who knocks your confidence to hold you back. But I feel like this is in terms of love. Um, there's someone here who um, did not go the distance. They were not ready to con commit to a relationship. I feel like this person, uh, you will hear from them. You may not want to hear from this person. Oh, look, you may have felt like this person was a player in and out of your life. You got the Knight of Wands there. Um, this is a very chaotic energy, very sexually chaotic person, very impulsive. They sort of message you up, hit you up and say, hey, what are you doing tonight? Hey, I miss you. And you're like, yeah, well, I haven't heard from you in like two years. Where you been? If you miss me, you got fingers. You could have dialed that number. You got legs. You could have walked to my place. You know, there's, there's definitely an energy here of, um, I'm not sure if you really want to see this person or hear from this person uh, because I feel like you're, there's someone that you've gone a bit cold towards page of wands please don't shoot the messenger when i say this leo but when i get a page of wands next to the knight of wands and they're both in reverse this indicates this person very immature this person may be younger than you but it's almost like when they got some downtime they connect with you okay they don't make you a priority if they made you a priority they'd be messaging you all the time okay they'd be wanting to know what's going on in your world they would never let loads of distance and radio silence between uh, you and them happen okay it's almost like i mean they got a lot of passion for you okay uh, they are showing up in the nine of knight of wands energy which means they're thinking about settling down now whoa that is a lot uh but i guess i gotta read them uh, yeah, they, they want these ones to, to come on in here for you. Um, so they are indicating that this person, oh yeah, look at that. This person cannot let you go. Six of Swords in the reverse. They just cannot move on from you, okay? Th this person could have quite obsessive energy. They feel like you're, now we could be dealing with Twin Flame energy, okay? But it, I just feel like there's someone you've gone cold on and they're coming on in to talk. I feel like this person is going to try and sort of... Um, say that they want to settle down. Uh, we'll, we'll see though. Um, we've got the seven of wands here. You are looking fine. Male or female, not a gender specific reading. You're a new version of yourself. You're rising above any drama. And as you can see, uh, you may be like doing things like meditation, but the seven of wands indicates you are your personal best. Okay, looking awesome, uh, beautiful both inside and out. And there is a peace and serenity about you that has taken a long time to get there. Okay, um, now as you can see, all those wands, you actually have a lot of attention. You've got a lot of people interested in you, Leo, but you're very discerning. You don't let everyone into your circle, and that's a wonderful energy to be in. But there's somebody who did get under your skin. There's somebody that you did love, okay? Someone that you're very passionate about. Can you see this wand sneaking on up there? Okay, this person has a tendency to just come back on in sometimes. Now, if anybody in the world treated you the way that this person did, you'd be like, shut down. You'd roar, you just, you just cut them off. You would stop shining your light in their direction. And I gotta tell you, when a Leo stops shining their light in a person's direction, it hurts a lot, okay? Because when that shadow is now cast, there's a lot that's lost there. There's loyalty, there's a good heart, there's honesty, there's kindness, there is fun, there is creativity, there's wonderful ideas, there's passion. You lose a lot when you lose a Leo, okay? And this person knows it. They're feeling the shadow. They're feeling the silence, okay? Um, I, I fully expect to see a Five of Pentacles in here because this person is feeling sorry for themselves. That's the energy I'm picking up on. We got the Lover's card. Now, the Lover's card is the Choice card, okay? So you can choose whether you want to be with this person or not, but they're definitely coming back on in to talk. The, the, they, you are the best that they have ever had, Leo. And this is not an egotistical reading. I'm not here to rub your ego, okay? I'm getting the energy that this person knows that you're the best they ever had. There's a lot of passion. They feel like you are their soulmate or even twin flame, perhaps. Uh, but there's definitely an energy here that this person um, was in immature energy 
and they want to make it work. They want to come back on in here. Uh, again, look, the Emperor's card. You got the Emperor up here. So maybe this is the Twin Flame uh, reading or a, a soulmate that you have disconnected from, that you've shut down. You may be weighing up, because I said that right at the beginning, there is something about second chances here coming back around. I feel like this person wants to come back around for a second chance. You may be judging them and weighing up the situation. Um, there's an energy here of you're finding it hard to resist them. You're finding it hard to close this down. Okay, but we got the world card there, which indicates um, you're shutting the situation down as a completion of a cycle. Now, whether that's a completion of a cycle that you and this person have now learnt your lessons that you came here to do in separation and now you come back together, that is your call. We all have free will, okay? So you can go back to this person if you want to. If they show me a star card, which I feel like there is a healing energy on this periphery here, um, then they're indicating that you and this person can heal things. But this person knows that you're the, the best of the best. They see you as beautiful, both inside and out. You're the person they would want to settle down with, okay? You're the one that they would like to, now that they're thinking about settling down, but that may be like a little too late, Leo. That's your choice. Uh, we also have Six of Cups. Look at that. Return energy. I would love it. Some people say, I don't want to hear about the past. I don't want to know why. You know, I haven't even, I didn't even get the Six of Cups yet. I just feel the energy that there is a return here. I felt it with card number one, uh, that there is a second chance thing kind of going on here. Um, and here it is. Six of Cups in the reverse indicates someone from your past is coming back around for a second chance. Now that does not mean it has to be a lover. It does not mean it has to be an ex-lover. It could be a friend, someone that you, uh, you know, have frozen out, someone that you've gone cold on, someone that you deserve the truth from, someone that you've had to Put up healthy boundaries to protect yourself against okay um, they want a second chance they may have unrealistic expectations they may try to fast track this um, and they may be living in the past a little bit but they're going to see that there's a new version of you leo and that you're not taking any shit from anybody okay um ha five of pentacles i knew it this person's feeling a little bit sorry for themselves either they abandon the connection or you've had to abandon and go cold on this connection because um, they were not investing in the connection. This person made you feel like you were on eggshells, okay? Now, that's interesting because I feel very much like this person wants to return. They want uh, to sort of uh, heal this relationship. Um, but I feel there's an energy here where you're trying to boss up in within your workspace. I feel like if you're waiting for a new job or uh, some sort of recovery financially to happen, it's coming your way. And I feel like you're focused very much on your finances. Um, you would love to have love coming on in here, uh, but something needs to change. Okay. Uh, we got the Ten of Swords. There it is. Walking away. Can you see that? Ten of Swords. You hit complete rock bottom with this person. It was very painful. Okay. They either did not give you uh, the information that they... I say information, they did not share their feelings. They were all up in their head, okay? Obsessing about this relationship with you. And it kind of just left you standing all by yourself going, well, I don't feel any love here, so I just need to take myself up and out and leave. Uh, because even though it's very painful for you, Leo, you may have had to get yourself some closure, okay? Look, there she is, the Queen of Swords again. So that's the same energy I was picking up on. Gone silent on somebody. And as you can see, uh, taking their prisoners, the sort of BS, not having it, uh, gone on a mission, perhaps to find a new um, sort of person, either a new love relationship or something like that, or a, a new uh, work, maybe even a new country to live in. There's definitely an energy here of searching for something that uh, speaks to your clarity of purpose and also speaks to your heart. As you can see, right in the corner there, that cup of love, that cup representing emotions, heart, uh, and love there is locked away. It's protected. It's being saved for someone who deserves it, okay? So as you can see, she's on a mission to go find wherever that leads her. So definitely, uh, you know, you're in search of uh, new love, I feel, Leo, because someone in the past really hurt you. Um, now, you do get a choice there. Often when we get uh, the lover's card, it is a choice. So that indicates there is obviously someone new coming into your vicinity in terms of love. And uh, there is obviously someone old as well who's returning. Uh, we do have the star card, of course. But I feel like this person is very obsessed with you, Leo. They will not let you go. They want to heal this. Hell or high water, they're going to try, okay? They're not going to give up on this love. I feel like you're trying to find some sort of level of uh, peace and serenity. I also feel like that new version of yourself, the stars are aligning for you to 
find something better in your world. You're, as I said, you're born to shine, Leo. You're born to shine. And some people, especially when it comes to love as well, they don't like to be outshone. They may enjoy the basking of in your light for a while, but then they start to wonder why it is they're not shining in the same way as you. You're not there to eclipse them. Absolutely not. You're not there to cast shadow. But some people start to feel small or inadequate in your company and they try to knock you down, knock your confidence. And you may have resisted that and held on to your wonderful self and they didn't like it. So they took themselves out, uh, punished you in a different way, took away their love um, and, you know, tried to knock your confidence. Uh, but definitely there's a lot of healing that's happened in this relationship. I feel like you've healed yourself. Uh, because you had to and I feel like um, you may have decided to stop talking to this person now when you stop an energetic cord with someone that you love when you close it down completely um, it actually activates theirs it lets that person know that you're no longer um, paying attention to them energetically so they start to think well I'm losing Leo so they come back okay just so you're aware um, now I just want to Oh, we got justice. This person wants to find a solution, okay? The truth will out. This person wants to come back and be honest with you, okay? I feel like it's a win-win situation for you because either way, I feel like there's love coming into your world. But we do have a devil energy. This person is absolutely obsessed with you. I will pull a card on this energy here because it is a toxic energy. It's showing up in the uh, upright. So if this person, if it was in the reverse, I'd say, okay, you can take a punt on this person, okay? Um... What is that? They're, they're just giving me Patty. Patty. So either your name is Patty or uh, you know someone called Patty or it's a nickname for somebody. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Okay. Uh, just so you're aware. Uh, but the devil card energy indicates they want me to look at the next card. Okay. Okay. So this person is quite selfish. Okay. This person is, a, a, they've got an obsessive energy. It's almost like if they can't have you, no one can have you. They're quite selfish there, but I will pull cards on that energy. Um, this person may have addictions or some sort of substance abuse, uh, but I feel definitely an obsession with you. I feel like they're addicted to you. It's almost like you're their drug, okay? When they're feeling low, they get their hit of Leo, and then when they're done, they're off. And you're nobody's like dealer, right? You're not here to supply short-term love. You're here for the long haul. So be mindful of what you're giving your energy to. Okay, I'm just going to clarify this energy quickly before I uh, move forward. Can you please clarify the devil and the six of pentacles? Can you please clarify? If we get that nine of cups in reverse again, oh, thank you so much, spirit guys, because that is, you know, nine of cups came out twice in this deck, and uh, we got a nine of cups. Thank you so much, spirit guys, great angels uh, there as well. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Nine of Cups in the reverse, okay? So this person, I would say this person has some sort of um, addictive qualities, but I also feel like this person, um, yeah, this person, um, they look for quick results. They're in and out. Um, they, they just, you know, they don't put in the legwork in a relationship. They're, yeah, they're stuck on you. Uh, but you see, look, we got the Ten of Swords again expressing this energy ten of swords rock bottom with this person very painful ending this person either betrayed you or uh you know they just left you they left you broken hearted okay but we got the six of swords here this an energy of being unable to move on now whether that's you or them i feel like they cannot let you go uh and they're going to keep fighting for this but i feel like they're fighting for your attention rather than to settle down. I feel like this person is not ready. Uh, and we got the, the seven of cups here in reverse. You can see that the illusion is ending here on this relationship. I feel like you can see you got a restored sense of what it is that you want and what is more emotionally stable for you, Leo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They wanted me to clarify these cards before I move to the next one because this is new. Okay. So I just want to, okay. So we have the eight of cups. It's in the upright. Leo, they're indicating that this person, if you feel like this person is in um, the same energy of just coming on in here today, gone tomorrow kind of energy, you're walking away from this, okay? Eight of Cups says you're done. This is not emotionally fulfilling for you. It's like a roller coaster. You know, one minute, it's like this person reactivates your love and leads you down the garden path and then they're gone. This person's a coward. Uh, and it's not very fair to call them that. But, you know, if someone continually does it, that's intentional. If they do it once and maybe twice, 
because you know they're trying to work out their feelings and they're trying to you know nothing's ever black and white you don't ever go just I want to be with that person that's the end there's lots of dynamics but I feel like this person has a tendency to keep doing this so cross watcher if you're the person who keeps on doing it just I want you to take a moment to see how damaging it is to another person okay um, I'm not here to condone anybody's behavior and I don't know your personal situation um, I rarely use the word coward okay I only use it if it's extreme and I feel very much like this person has done it several times okay so more than twice definitely and that's someone who knows what they're doing okay that has no excuse spirits indicating it's time to walk away okay uh, we have the hierophant coming on in here so there is a high level commitment coming on in for you please don't um fret and say that you're going to be lonely and that you know this was the only person you had your last shot shot with this person you feel like um that you know they were the one you may have felt like they were the one but if they're not showing you the same respect that you give them, Leo, then please be mindful of the flags, the red flags they're showing you. Also, I feel like there's a lot of learning in this relationship. It's almost like sometimes you have um, the one before the one, the stepping, you know, it's not like, I don't want to call it like a stepping stone, but I feel like it's the one before the one, you know, um, and I feel like this person was to teach you a lot of lessons about what you want or what you don't want in order to come into being with a soulmate because we have a two of cups coming on in here for you okay um, now I'm gonna pull some cards on this one before we close the reading but there's someone coming on in this person may have Taurus placements uh, there may be even uh, something in the Taurus reading for you because I had a similar energy showing up here uh, but there is a divine union coming towards you someone who wants to commit to you long term I feel like there's a proposal that leads to some sort of high level commitment like marriage if that's the way you want to go i feel like it will be a traditional kind of relationship with a lot of passion but deep emotion this new person is on the same page as you okay you do have a choice however if you want to heal something with the person in the past absolutely you can absolutely okay absolutely i'm not saying you cannot but just be mindful of yourself uh, we got that nine of fire as caution for a reason really think about it Really think before you take some action, okay? Don't be pressurized, in, pressurized into something uh, that you want you don't want to do. Um, now also, you got the, the justice card there, so you're getting the love that you truly deserve and desire, Leo. Um, now I'm just gonna pull a quick card on that energy before uh, we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Anything more on the Two of Cups? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. They asked me to go again. So the person who wants to make amends is still in, uh, they're just clarifying union for me. Uh, the person who's still, um, we got seven swords there in the reverse. The person who ran away or has put distance between you and them, maybe had some sort of underhanded behavior. This person's still very selfish energy. Okay. They want to make amends. They do. So there is a potential union there if you want to heal that. This person's intention is to heal it. But they're still showing up in devil energy. So they're still kind of obsessed or have some sort of toxic thing that they're still working through before uh, you come to it. And then we got the Queen of Cups. Someone who's more loving, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, but someone who's more loving, supportive, healing is coming towards you. It's almost like the prize of love is coming towards you. And no, they said wrong deck, wrong deck, of course. Uh, they give me the name Oscar, so either your name is Oscar or, uh, I mean, maybe you're a performer and you're hoping one day to win an Oscar. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Three of Pentacles, how would you like to receive? Um, we also have the Magician in Reverse, Strength card. Oof. We have the Five of Cups, the Ten of Cups in Reverse. They're indicating that you have to walk away from someone and really... Um, Gain your power back before you step into new union with somebody else, okay? Uh, there's going to be, I feel like it's hard for you, absolutely. It feels like, you know, it's going to be difficult because, yeah, there were good times, um, but there needs to be respect. And we got a three of pentacles here, okay? So either you got put in a third party situation in the past or um, you've been comparing yourself to other people or this person, that they would be a real douche to be comparing you to someone else. Leo, how dare they? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. One more before we close the reading. Three of Cups, Celebration. Three of Cups, Celebration. Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, there's an indication here, uh, you know, to focus on yourself, repair, 
heal yourself, there will be celebration. Have confidence in yourself and new love will be coming on in. Um, but I feel like you're focusing on being ambitious and uh, you know being perfect within your work. I feel like um, there's there's something really successful coming on in here for you. There will be um, celebration in terms of love, but I feel like the focus right now is on uh, your pentacles, okay? And rising up, Get, it's almost like being a boss, gaining uh, recognition for your work and being rewarded for it, okay? So we will leave that there. I'm just going to uh, clarify some of the energy before I uh, leave. I'm just going to give any final advice before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What do my beautiful Leo need to know for April uh, 2021? What do they need to know for their highest good? Thank you so much. Uh, they're just saying that the word repair. 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 So, um, obviously, if you want to repair a union... Or maybe it's repair yourself, or maybe you're repairing something in this moment. Maybe you're gluing something back together. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody, okay? Now, um, we have trust. So perhaps right at the root of all of this is to trust. Trust that whatever is meant for you will never pass you by, Leo, okay? Very important. There's definitely transformation here. And as you can see, there's two birds there as well for union. Uh, right next to it, we have union. So there will be union. So there will be love, no matter what, whether it's with the person in the past that you feel is your soulmate um, or whether it is uh, you're calling in something new. There is definitely love and there is definitely union. And it starts with your self-confidence. Self-confidence self -confidence makes you more attractive, Leo. Also, we have reflection. Taking a really good look. You know, um, have caution here as you look. Uh, you know. By caution, I mean, I don't feel like there's anything to worry about, per se. I feel like, you know, you don't need to fast track any of this. Just take your time, Leo. Uh, it's time to reflect on something. Uh, they're asking me to look at this card like, oh, very closely. One moment, please. Uh, so they're giving me two things. One is the name Alex. So either your name is Alex or uh, someone you're dealing with is called Alex. Also, Bella. Bella. I mean, Bella means good or beautiful, right? So maybe it's beautiful Alex, but they, they give me Alex first, okay? Just to let you know. Uh, so Bella as well. Please take it as it resonates. It may not resonate for everyone. Okay, this is really strange. Uh, they're giving me ASOS. ASOS. Is it? Maybe it's an SOS. ASOS. Okay, that could be like... I mean, if I was to say that word, ASOS, ASOS, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Okay, I feel like, I feel like there's something online that you're purchasing at. If you're currently online buying yourself something on that site, then there's something in this message for you. Uh, but if I break it down, it could be ASOS, like a call for help or something. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe you've broken down on the sidelines on a, a on a, a road or something, a highway, and you're using one of those call boxes to just call in to get some uh, body to help tow you or something like that, or fix your car. Please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everyone, okay? Those images just came in there. And we have peace, most importantly, peace, okay? Peace of mind. Now let's get some final advice before we close the reading. A very, very uh, auspicious time for you. Um, for April, my beautiful Leo, a lot going on, uh, but within the dynamics, I feel like you're going to be very, very successful, very shrewd in your decisions, and um, so a, a lot of uh, financial uh, gain being put into planning, whatever it is that you're doing, and you'll start to see things showing up on your physical plane. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. I also feel like you're going to be very generous to your soul tribe with that as well. Thank you so much. We have... Mending, repair. I mean, they would give me the word repair. So maybe it is about repairing this relationship from someone in the past, giving them this, the benefit of the doubt. But if they've done it too many times, Leo, I mean, I cannot condone that behavior. That's, that's just me, okay? Please take it as it resonates for you, but we got mending. So something needs healing. Perhaps it's about letting it go and letting it flow. Maybe it's about learning the lesson and saying, I'm glad you came forward and we talked and we got things out in the open and honest and we can get closure. Okay, so I'll read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. It's number 52. When you reduce it, 5 plus 2 is 7, which is the chariot card, moving forward. Okay, mending. So maybe also there's something at your your work relationship or that friendship that 
you know, someone was trying to hold you back or prevent your career path from rising up, maybe you'll mend this relationship with this person. Maybe this relationship with this person in the future is very, very important. Um, and, you know, it's almost like it comes full circle. Uh, 52. You know, I always say, be the bigger person. Lead with love and say, you know, I forgive you and all of those things and move forward. And you never know in the future when both of you become firm friends or need each other in the future. You just don't know. Uh, but anyway, you wouldn't want to forgive someone for that. I mean, you know, forgive them if they really mean sorry, you know. Uh, anyway, forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. I'll give you the prosperity message first. Everyone makes mistakes, especially when you want something very badly. You may come to realize that in chasing after a pretty shiny thing, you lost sight of the long-term sustainable prosperity. Sometimes you make choices that look good at first, but ultimately lead to loss or failure. It's time to forgive yourself and others. Don't blame anyone else. You get to start again, wiser and more mature. See that uh, time of second chances that I was picking up earlier. The journey to true abundance can be bumpy. Make amends to anyone you may have hurt along the way, especially yourself. Forgive those who may have taken advantage of you. Let go and learn from this. You are now that much close to achieving this kind of prosperity that really fulfills you. Nothing is ever lost or wasted when you view it from this perspective. The relationship message is, you've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the, the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have a, the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. Okay, so very, very important, especially since they gave me the word repair only about five minutes beforehand. Um, it is obviously integral to April, okay? So let bygones be bygones, even if you're seething, okay? What you actually do, Leo, is you forgive, you just don't forget, okay? You learn the lesson by not forgetting, but you forgive to lighten your karmic load, okay? Very important. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Wow. We have two butterflies here, two transformation energies. Okay, so as you can see, very transformative time, as I said. Two butterflies, I hope you can see those. I'll show you them individually. It's, it connects to the death card, the challenge. Okay, uh, it's about endings bringing new beginnings. When you're in a chrysalis, uh, you may feel like something is temporarily stuck or disconnected from itself. Um, but actually, it's a time for learning, for growth, for change. Okay, you, you are a new version of yourself and now is the time to rise up and blossom. Okay, uh, it looks like there's two energies changing here. So either they want it on the death card, of course they do. Oh no, that one, but this one is on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there's definitely a turn of events, something that's turning out in your favor. Luck is on your side, but it's very transformative. It will change your life. This is the thing I was saying that you may be scared of, the, of success changing things beyond your wildest dreams. Sometimes that's an intimidating kind of energy, but it will be very successful, whatever it is you're trying to get off the ground and you will rise up for a, a brighter future. Uh, but there's definitely change. Okay, my beautiful Leo, very exciting energy happening here. Um, I will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That's important. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you would still like to be in with a chance to win the personal reading, um, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your day to manifest, okay? Whatever it is you want to manifest. Now, we want a lot of things in life, but please just choose one to focus on for 10 minutes. Really see it like you have it, okay? If it's the love of your life, imagine what they look like, feel like, uh, what it feels like to kiss them, um, you know, take a shower with them, have dinner with them, uh, get married to them, all of those things. Act as if you have that, okay? Really see it. Similarly, like a job. If you want to be... Um, a chef, okay, uh, if you want to be uh, an actor, if you want to be an astronaut, really imagine yourself doing it, okay, and the rewards, the rewards you get from it, the feeling you get, the money you get, the day-to-day -day details of what you have to do to be that, okay, I really want you to see it. 
okay and if you want to uh, share it with the um, collective you can in the boxes below you don't have to though it's a personal experience so if you do not wish to just put the word love in the comments box below and I will choose one lucky subscriber to win the personal reading I'll choose that on the 12th of April 2021 okay thank you so much my beautiful Leo love and light